All right, guys, so now we know how to make a GUI application with a couple things, including a drop down menu. So now, what I want to do is show you guys how to create that toolbar at the top. Because commonly, as I showed you guys with Notepad, there are often buttons up here like cut, copy, paste, print, and a bunch of common tools that you can use. And also, since that isn't going to take a lot of time, I'm also going to be showing you guys how to create a status bar on the bottom to say, I don't know, maybe you're hovering over something or maybe you just saved your project. It's going to give you a nice little indicator to uh, tell you guys the current status of your application. So I'm going to keep this all right here and right under, actually let me add a comment. Um, I'll say something like creating, actually so I'll say the toolbar. All right, just so we can get everything organized. And actually, might as well add that for the main menu. Main menu, and I'll just say toolbar, not the toolbar, toolbar because it's not that cool. All right, so the first thing we need to do is create the toolbar. And all we're gonna do is, we're not gonna put anything in it at first. We're just gonna create a frame, and that frame is going to sit in our main window, the root, and even though you typically don't want to do this, this is going to be really easy to demonstrate if I give it a nice blue background. So, um, again, this is just for demonstration purposes, just so you can see how it's laid out. So, what this is going to be is a frame that stretches across right under your main menu, and we're going to put a bunch of tools in there. So, hold on. I'm like trying to slide my chair. I have um, a chair and it has like five wheels on the bottom in a star shape. And for some stupid reason, the wheel always turns itself to butt up against my computer, like in the absolute wrong spot. So I have to like kick it and adjust it with my foot. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. Story of my life. Who cares? All right. So later on, I'm going to show you guys how to insert images like GIFs and uh, pings and little icons that you can use for your buttons but for right now since uh, all we know how to do is create buttons that's what I'm going to be putting in our toolbar so I'm going to name this first one insert butt because I don't know I just think it's funny like insert something in your butt or something I don't know I have like a pretty immature sense of humor and that's just giving myself some space to insert stuff in my butt alright now set this equal to button and this is going to be fe Pretty much be the first thing that we're going to insert into our toolbar. So of course the first parameter whenever you're adding items to your GUI is saying where do you want to put it? Well we want to put it right in our toolbar which is the frame that's going to be at the top of our application. Next thing, alright Bucky, what text do you want to appear on your button? Well for the text, um, what's like a common button? I don't know, like to insert an image? So of course when we click this it's not going to insert an image but um, we'll say that this is the button you click if you ever want to, I don't know, what kind of program do you insert images for, like a Photoshop or something. And the command for this is just do nothing. And of course, it doesn't take those parentheses so we can get rid of those. So now we have a blank button in our toolbar. So now let's go ahead and actually display it on the screen. So insert but pack it in, which pretty much means display it or make it show up in our GUI. Now also what I want to do is I want to pack this right to the left hand side. And this is actually pretty much the equivalent of float left if you're ever doing web design. And another cool thing I want to show you guys is this. You can also have padding just like you can in web design. So if you put pad X, it's going to give you um, however many pixels. I'll just put two. So this gives you two pixels of padding and what padding means if you aren't familiar with web design is just extra space for your button just so everything isn't butted up against each other so I also want to pad some pixels in the Y direction might as well pad two pixels so what we did is we created a basic toolbar and we put a button in it simple enough let's go ahead and just add one more real quick um, I'll name it print button and I'll set this equal to do this a quick way button 
of course it's also going in the toolbar pretty much the only thing that's different is this button is gonna say print so we're gonna have two buttons at the top of our window in our toolbar one's gonna say insert image the other is gonna say print and I might as well copy this too because I am feeling extra lazy today and this line right here will just display it on the screen simple enough so check this out we made a toolbar we made two buttons in it and we also displayed those buttons however we didn't actually display the actual tool, tool bar yet tongue twister so toolbar pack aka display it well where do you want to display it what we want to do is we want to display this on the top now since we already have this main menu right here and by default Kinter always makes this main menu at the very top whenever we position this at the top it's going to be positioned right underneath it and another thing I want to do is just I want to fill this in the X direction meaning however wide your window is this is going to take up the entire width so of course that's the same thing with pretty much every application so I'll run this and check it out la, la, la. so of course it doesn't fill in the Y direction so that's why it's not growing whenever I expand it downwards however however wide our application is since I filled it X it takes up the entire width so this is our menu menu still and this is our toolbar with a bunch of crap in it and of course whenever we click any of these buttons they just call the do nothing which prints this out on the screen but typically again these are going to be icons like I don't know like a little icon of a printer or a little icon like of a camera or something and these are going to be the common tools that you use but now we have the basic knowledge of how to create a toolbar and also how to lay them out so for now that's all you guys get and actually I'll wait to another video to uh, show you guys how to make the status bar because this one's already like seven minutes long so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next tutorial